All right, hello everybody and welcome to History 1173 VB1. This is the second semester of World Civilization 2. This is the online variety. My name is Eric Bobo. I'll be the instructor for this course. And this, really the purpose of this video is just for us to uh, do a few things to learn how to get started in the class. First of all, when you log into the class, you're going to see this page. It will look like this when you get in and uh, you will navigate really uh, down here to see some of the important stuff that you need to be doing right from the get-go you'll need to watch this video which of course is right, going to be right here you'll need to uh, click here to read the syllabus click on modules to uh, talk about the or to see the important parts of the class okay this is an instant access course and so that means that from day one that you're going to have your uh, uh, textbook ready to uh, view and so we'll talk about how you get to that in just a second uh, you'll need to click on the proctor testing information to read information about that uh, my information is going to be at this link that you can go and take a look at and uh, you're going to have uh, some assignments that are going to be due in the first couple of days and so there are links to them here and I'm going to show you where they are in the modules as well and some important dates here at the bottom that tells you uh, when the class begins, when the first and last day to withdraw are, and uh, when the last day of classes is, and when grades are posted. The uh, course always runs through modules, so let's click on the modules first and go take a look at them. And you can see once you get in here that there's a introductory module here that has a link to your textbook, it has a link to your syllabus, has some important information, Heinz information right here, and uh, proctor testing policies, all right, and uh, links to your first assignments and due dates that you can see there. So this is really where you need to go to get started. Let's talk a little bit about the syllabus. When you get to the syllabus here and click on that, it will take you to this page, which is the college's uh, basically syllabus portal. Okay, down below, you'll see... Uh, the information about my class all right and uh, you can read this for yourself including uh, goals for the course okay the text which of course like i told you is an instant access thing we'll talk about how to get that in a second okay for you of course grading is important and you'll see right here that homework assignments count 25 percent of your grade uh, discussion and writing assignments count 25 percent of your grade and exams count 50% of your grade. We take five exams throughout this course, two of which are proctored. And uh, you will uh, find that information about proctored exams here. So uh, you will use the smarter proctoring system to either uh, log in to take a, uh, a in-person proctored exam at a proctored lab, or you will use smarter proctoring to schedule a virtual exam. And if you look right here to the left, you see the Smarter Proctoring link. You click that to begin that process. Notice it is your responsibility to do that. This is an eight-week class. Things come very fast, right? But it's still your responsibility to make sure that you get these exams taken before their due dates. And so I would advise you, number one, not to wait to the last minute to schedule either an in-person or a virtual exam because. Uh, Bad things happen technologically every now and then. Also, you need to uh, make sure that you uh, try to get in there early to secure your appointments for when you might want to take those proctored exams. The due dates for those exams are in Canvas. Attendance is taken using due dates for assignments. So if you're not turning in all of your homework by the due dates, and that's also going to mean that not only are you going to get a zero for those missing assignments, but you're also going to be marked absent, and you don't want to do that as well. The uh, It's important to remember that you can be dropped from this class for non-participation. So uh, we want to make sure that we get in, that we do our assignments, we turn them all in on time, uh, so that not only are you getting credit for those assignments, but you're also not being marked absent. All right, so after reading that, you scroll on down to the Heinz Standard Syllabus here, which covers the attendance policy, the academic honesty policies, and you'll need to read that information for yourself, especially the attendance policy 
and the academic honesty policy. After reading all that, navigate back to the modules where uh, you can see some other important Heinz information right here. There's more proctor testing information here if you need that. But it also takes you to those opening week assignments that you see here. One is how to use Inquisitive, the system that we'll be uh, using to uh, do uh, homework assignments in uh, the orientation survey, uh, which is a basically a quiz based on a lot of this information, and your opening week discussion board where you'll introduce yourself to the class. This is an instant access course, like I said, so your book is going to be available from for you right from the start. If you click on the links here, then you will be able to get into uh, these uh, uh, into the textbook. So, some uh, as you notice, there's an author video here that you can watch that introduces this section. You can click right here, and that's going to take you to uh, chapter 16, which is sort of where we begin. There's also a link here to the inquisitive, right, where it basically asks you to uh, take quizzes, all right, based on uh, your reading of the textbook. If I were you, I would always start with the inquisitive assignments, all right, they're low stakes. All you have to do is complete them, essentially, to get full credit, but it also uh, asks you questions based on important parts of uh, the, uh, the textbook, okay. There is a discussion board by the Columbian Exchange, and then uh, there is also a reading quiz uh, based on your readings and uh, based on uh, your uh, homework as well. There are also some other things out here that you can use. There's an outline to kind of help you organize your thoughts. There's a PowerPoint out here that can help you organize your thoughts as well. Some flashcards you can use when you study other important things. So this is all in the modules. People tend to uh, sometimes tend to have a uh, a hang up with only kind of trying to navigate the course using uh, the uh, really the to do list. Don't do that. Always come to modules and uh, use the modules to help you get started. I'm gonna click here so that you'll let you can kind of see what going into the textbook will look like when you log in. Uh, you are going to uh, have to kind of log in and give a uh, a username and a password uh, and uh, once you do that then uh, you can get into the chapter and that's what the chapters look like okay and so you can navigate them read them uh, and uh, you'll be uh, all right well on your way at the end uh, all right See, the next will pop up to take you to the next section, and uh, there you go, okay? So that's how you navigate the textbook. The uh, Really, the important thing right now is to get in and to make sure that you can navigate your way around the course, that you go and read that information about the Heinz, uh, from the Heinz uh, all right, e-learning department and things like that, okay, that you get in here and you navigate through this stuff and that you get these first assignments done. If you'll do those, then you're kind of going to be well on your way. All right, let's have a great semester, and there'll be more stuff coming at you uh, relatively soon.